Hi, and welcome back to this uh, last session, the, the last half of the last session, at least for now, uh, of this campaign. So very quickly, if you remember, you watched the first part already, uh, the characters have, have reached the abode of the gods and are now diving deep into this place. And that's where we're going to resume the action. So, um, you open your eyes and immediately you feel yourselves. Imagine if you were in the largest council chamber or like um, student room and you were in like in the professor's part of it. And then you have all of these, you know, this the huge stage around you. And the stage is not really solid, and but you feel the presence of like larger than life beings around you. You cannot see their faces. You see like stars that delineate certain patterns on this kind of cloudy, darkened sky all around you. And in front of you, you see uh, like, ve like in the distance, it seems very far away, a female figure. Uh, and as you're approaching, you hear a voice, a resounding, loud voice. All of the voices that you're going to hear for a while now are going to sound like this. Uh, it says, what is the meaning of this? Who are these people? Intruders. And then, uh, immediately, kind of a light uh, mm. appears out of nowhere. And then you see... You hear another voice, a more tranquil, once again, calm voice says, No, no, it is well. It has been written. It was foretold. They have arrived. Once the light comes up, you see the figure. And the figure that this like kind of a, a female uh, humanoid figure advances towards you and is now almost beside you. And she looks at all of you and she says, uh, looking at you specifically, Jonah, she says, Well, hi, old friend. Haven't seen you in a while. You look younger somehow. And this is what she looks like. And you immediately feel like this. Feel inside of, like, um... Oh, no. <clears throat> and she says, well, they have kept me here. They have me here now. Can you please let me go? And like, once again, like the clouds, pff, like they're like thunder and a little bit of lightning and like every starts, everything starts shifting. Um, and you do not feel like an emptiness inside of you. Like something is missing that was here for now for a while. We should so, continue the proceedings, our voices. Yeah. Go ahead, no, I'll listen. How, how many voices or beings do we see? Do we get a You feeling? perceive um mm -hmm. what would be let's see like 17 16 of them, no, oh, sorry, it's like yeah, 17. One of them is very faint and the rest of them are like more like um solid in a way like if they feel more solid in okay. uh, even though once again it is almost like feeling like out of the corner of your eye that a giant is standing behind behind you and that is how you feel like there are like 17 16 giants around you surrounding you you cannot feel, really just, yeah. do we feel like like in our skin or you know in our aura like good bad and chaos or, <clears throat> do we feel something like yeah. i don't like this and i something around uh, uh, or from, from the voices or something the first voice actually the growling voice um it feels very familiar to you um like somehow it, it's like it's very strange that i that i say this but to you it reminds you of hunting in the wild alone the feeling of nature like the instinct that it requires to do so. Um, uh, go ahead. 17, right? Yep. And this should be, if all of them were here, should be 21. 21. Yeah. One is faint. 
<clears throat> one is faint out of those 17 and you have another one in basically when when she starts when Takisa starts moving around you see like almost like translucent uh shackles Wait, on her wrists do we know that she's Takisa? yeah this is okay. like the famous famous form like yeah. but this is the human form that's a doctor's mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. without the powers okay i you feel that it's not like probably once again if you were in the presence of Takisis in seductress form you would be like once again kneeling and praying at this point you know like adoring yeah. her Elena, but is that yeah elena i heard like, the voice of sargas before uh, did i hear now him you look around and then you see kind of a, a majestic minotaur that is looking at you and is there's like um like a questioning glance in his eyes like looking at you i'm smiling <sighs> what, keep going. what would you like to do hmm. what would you like to do so first does the is the emptiness in jonah does it can he can i feel if it has returned to its rightful place you identify that that 17th presence that i talked about the faint presence mm -hmm. is that is that which leave, leave left you like that okay. which is has gone away but it's still very weak it is not fully restored do i know anything about jonah and Takisis? i don't know yeah. so, no. uh, i, so I since the Takisis addressed jonah he would yeah. mm face her and very respectfully say Dragon Queen the knights who fight in your name have done much destruction and caused much suffering in the mortal realm I of believe those have. forces could those forces could aid all of you in your struggle ah, again with the same nonsense I've already told them they're not doing this in my stead. I sent very clear visions to the stupid one that's in charge of them. The one that is like in charge of the visions and everything. That they didn't want any more of that, what they were doing. And they kept going. What more do you want me to do? You're always saying that I'm controlling everything too much. It's not, I'm not the issue here. And these stupid ones want to blame me for this and punish me. So it is extremely arrogant to try and catch her in a lie but i would like to uh, try to do an insight check go ahead yes. go go it. It. you're inciting a god i love this yeah, i got it it's, it's like, awesome can i do it too <laughs> sure sure why not 20. <laughs> oh that's very good 23. okay well look at that i mean um Musong doesn't trust the kisses at all she's yeah, not going course. to roll <laughs> Like, I want to tell you the truth, the, 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 the truth and nothing but the truth, um, Jonah. She's not lying. Maybe for once she's telling the truth. Mm -hmm. And you, um, Keras, you know that she's not lying and you feel like eyes looking at you very intently and as you look probably like trying not to let on that you're looking at whoever's looking at you you feel the eyes of Sargonas like staring at you like almost like about to say something but not willing to reveal wha whatever is going through his mind I want to look for Ishakar you feel uh, like this divine sort of like presence and when you say that when you when you when you look for her all of a sudden light envelops the whole place and then you hear a voice a, a very uh, calm voice says what is it that you're looking for child are you looking for me how can i help you are we gonna do this she said takisi says and like basically lays on a couch that appears out of nowhere and says, <laughs> like, <laughs> "Yeah." Um, so, 
when when I look at her, I mean, I I think that the surrounding change changes because I'm looking at her. No, when you thought about her and looked for her, she immediately felt you and appeared. And when she basically manifested, the whole seemed. It seems like this whole dimension changes depending on whoever is in charge, quote unquote. Like who is who has the voice, who is saying mm -hmm. something. Like it modifies and goes like it flows from one into another. I mean, I think that I'm an at all like my lady, and I kneel and bow to her, and I say, "What can I, we be of service? We can, we have." travel and go through dangers to get here. Um, dangers untold indeed, says like a clear voice. But you have not come here as witnesses, have you? You have come here with questions. You should ask them before we continue. Your questions... I glance, yeah, I glance to to my companions because they are being have been in this quest longer than me like i mean like yeah. <laughs> i'm with here to help so <sighs> ask <laughs> not for that much do you have any any damage on you or have you missing any spell slots um, i so? have like i have damage and i have the two spell slots Okay, before this, before the goddess uh, disappears, the goddess of restoration basically withdraws. Uh, she touches you, caresses you like very uh, softly, and you get a long rest. And then this new presence is here. Moonsong receives the long rest only? Yeah, only Moonsong. I think. She asked for it. <laughs> She, if I ask mine, maybe it will stop me. <laughs> I'm gonna look at Jonah. I mean, you're the one with charisma, but sure. Uh, I listen. I'll begin, and then I'll cue you for like wrap it up. Like, so. Uh, my, my my job was bringing you here. So yeah, Jonah takes a a breath, uh, looks, or. You know, casts his, his mind to the faint presence. And after, for so long, having had a very clear, very important personal mission, goes back to where this all began uh, and explains the free peoples of Kryn have fallen. The dark army surged over the land and was unopposed. The great towers of sorcery could not contain them. The Knights of Solamnia were broken. And so we set forth to learn why we could not... Why you would not answer our prayers. Why they had access to their power and we did not. All of a sudden, like, when you say this, the once again the light shines but in this case it feels like a burning shine bright light and it says because she's lying she's using them to destroy the world that's why it, that's why we haven't answered your prayers we have been too much preoccupied with the void devouring us we know about if the void would, if one would try to pinpoint which god is that one you you know this guy. This is Kiri Jolliffe. Mm. All right. The miracles, the powers that these knights who say they fight in her name are unlike any of her followers have had before. Yes, they ride on dragons but they rely on sorcery. They rely on power beyond the moons. And I don't know if I can see where Nuitari would be in this realm. It's like, it, you know, 
It used to be you would know the bad wizards because they, they follow that guy. But <laughs> these bad <laughs> wizards don't. The, these guys cheat. They have armor proficiencies. <laughs> it is true. What the human speaks is true. I haven't blessed their powers. They haven't come to me. They renounce me, actually. I'll turn to uh, Haldrath and say, perhaps you could produce the moon and show them. I'm gonna bring up the glow. The red glow. Mm. Oh, it's no. been a while, but yeah. Oh, go ahead. No, no, go ahead, please. It's. I think we determined that the the void was it similar to the not chaos, but the the source of the magic uh, of the the more wizardy of the of the knights of Takisis. Kinda, that's that's a that's a theory. Yeah. Probably, I think, if we go back to like session one. Yeah, that's what. Dalam, I'm, that's why it's been, it's been so long theory, since we fought the actual yeah. guys. Dalamar's theory was that both the knights of the th of the thorn and the knights of the skull, the thorn are the like the wizardy types, and the skull are the like divine Rarity types. types. Mm -hmm. types. Both seemingly were drawing magic from somewhere else. Yeah, that was that was like Dalamar's theory, um, which you sort of kind of proved in your journeys, uh, mm -hmm. because you are the only ones that so far have had like reliable. You, I mean, you, you, the group, mm -hmm. have yeah. been the only ones so far that have like reliable magic with you while, while you were fighting on the on the mortal realm. So I want to look. I mean, Lunitari because. Um, I forget the num the names of. We have a place for so long. Solinaria. Yeah. No, you're Lunitari. Lunitari. You have Lunitari. Luis. Yeah, you have Haldra. Lunitari in your hand. Yeah. Haldra. Lunitari. Mm -hmm. You had Lunitari. Yes, yeah. the red moon. I have Lunitari. The red moon. So I, I look for that god. You is is not present. It's not. Here. No. And immediately oh. when you say this, when when you press on the moon, the light once again dominates, and a person says. Oh no, dear cousin, what happened to you? What happened to her? Can you tell so me her story? Go ahead. So they didn't realize that he, it, it, they wasn't present because. N neither of us of the mean, god of magic are here. Right? No, actually, you have. Yeah. Lunitari the other spoke, and now Lunita, now uh, Solinari. um Solinari spoke is speaking. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Did and they, then that, when you when you ask like they didn't know this because are you asking that or are you thinking about this? I'm uh, thinking. Monster. When you think about this once again, the not light changes, and then a voice says, "How did you not know about this? We haven't been able to get out of here for a long time. That's why we haven't answered your prayers. We have been literally holding on to the world." So it doesn't come apart. So it isn't devoured. And when she says this, there's like a... Like a, uh, an earthquake that shakes and tremble, like the whole place trembles. And immediately as this happens, like the light changes. And there is a void in the middle. And it's kind of tendrils trying to come out. And then you hear... All of the voices, almost all at once, saying things, one after the other. And when they say these things, it's almost like they shouting incantations or something. And then it returns. Like the, the earthquake stops. And the light lightly returns to the place. The, situa the situation is dire then. Stupid more phrase. than you know more than you know says a voice oh you marked by Sargonas death is coming for us all 
and it is not mine which would be a sweet death and relief. This is oblivion. You said our coming was foretold, foreseen. What happens now that we are here? You will ask your questions, and in doing so, elucidate our answers. Both will serve us, both us and yours. And then you will go along, should you choose to do so, because you were blessed long ago with free will. The situation is indeed very dire, as your friend says, but it is not without hope. There are still some things that can be done, chief among them, to stop the Knights of the Kisses. We could Don't look at me, them. she says. You don't have any problem if we try to stop them? You cannot stop them. With strength of arms, you need to change their hearts. You need to have them stopped using their magic. That is the only way. And if you cannot do this, no one will. Are you really thinking that they can be chucked down? I believe whoever if rejected the vision. I send it to the lot of a lot of skulls or something? That is the one that always talks to me. But I have sent visions to the Lord of the Night. He hasn't received them. He's not paying attention to me anymore. Okay. Back to early I, NPCs. I, yes, because yeah. I remember yeah. the Lord of Skulls. I'm, I'm trying okay. to I try to remember. I the, love this. Yes, a... yes, 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 yes. Mm. You know who is the Lord that, of the Skulls did is. Did we kill his dragon? Yes, I, you did. Yeah. You let the dragon go. And that is oh. Guldor Darkheart. That is the Lord of Skulls. A dwarf. A dark dwarf. That was actually in charge of the uh, of the clerical part of the knights. And the Lord of the Night, you know also who he is. He's, that's His dragon uh, was the, the the black dragon that we fought. Yeah. And, and you defeated and the dragon went away and then, you know, Jonah had a conversation with the dragon. The Lord of the Night is the Lord of all the Knights of the Kishis. That is... Yeah. Uh, Ariakan. Ariaka right? Sariakan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. So, the Lord of Skulls has been suborned by the Void, the Oblivion, and somehow has blocked visions from reaching Ariakan, who from everything the Knights of Solamnia spoke of him, is a true believer and a man of honor. Yes, he is. If we could break the spell, if we could, I suspect, defeat the Lord of Skulls, Ariakan would see reason. And it I turn to Pekisis. If his yeah. queen commands him, he will follow. I will tell him so, darling. Put him put him in my presence and I will tell him to stop doing this. Well, we can conquer the world any day. We already have it. Who cares? But we need a world to have in order to conquer it, you know? I am much more reasonable than the stories let you know. Believe it or not, that makes more sense. Mm. <laughs> what would you like to say, Hardwell? Nothing. Okay. Sus just sure. suspicious. Sure. Mm. Uh, Alejandro, you allow me an inside you? I want to know suspicious. What, what are you looking at? Not I bad. Mean, this I, is... I, I, I is only trying to. This is like the senior exorcist 
looking at the devil and going like, mm. you're asking us to trust you. Yep. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Like this goddess is going to say, yeah, call off the attack when they are about to win. Like she can take over. We, we defeat the boy and win. she says, well, now I roll the thing. Just do the final push. But are they going to win? Yeah. I mean, they're going to rule the world, but the world's not going to last very long. No. It's different. Yeah, rule the but... world that destroy the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You need a world, a world to rule. And that's what I'm saying. I'm, I, I believe her that she's going to let us uh, deal with this problem. I don't believe her that she's going to then just say to the knights, Hey guys, it was fun. Pack your things. We're going home. And but here, no. all the land that we won. No, no. That's not what we're asking. We're asking to use the knights to fight the void. Get them yeah. to stop using their oblivion magic. Do we know... Yeah. Do we know from where comes the void? Do they Might as well know? ask. Uh, you should you should ask Moonsong. Like as someone I mean, who mm -hmm. knows the planes, like uh, as far this is something you've never seen. So go ahead and ask. Like do, for the rest of us, this is the I think the first time uh, we've. Uh, I, I, I have some the questions. Uh, do the darkness came from for your moons, or just Lunitari has to give herself to save hers? Who are you asking, child? Myself or my cousin? I'm asking this to uh, Solinari and Nuitari. I, I, I spoke to them before. No. No. It's coming for everything. We have been able to protect our moon so far. But we will not last long, shall we? And... Then suddenly the voice says, No, no, indeed we won't. We are not as strong as we once were, and every day that passes we become weaker. Every hour that passes consumes our strength. Oh, I... 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 With all the reverence... I address all of them. Okay. Say, Love it. The void. What do you know of it? Where come where it comes from? Who summoned it? The what? mortals did. A voice says. I don't know how they did. But they opened a rift. The void is not coming from a when. It's coming from a where. The void is coming from the end of times. From the heat death of the universe. It is the end of all reality and of all life. It is that which opposes existence by its very essence. That is what we know. We do not know how they did this or who was the first. But they were. So it's been always there? It was contained before? It's created uh, just like that? Click. I, I can sh sh just my my, no. my fingers. It's okay. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> of but course it's harder not. With fur. It's not created. <laughs> it's a. Didn't you hear what? What he? What she just said? It is a thing. It is a, a, a future, that is being drawn into this present, and destroying everything in its wake. 
No, we didn't need to contain it because this is impossible. You mortals are not supposed to be able to do these things. What mortals? Who? Us? Or us? Of course they were the Knights of Takesis. Those were the ones that did this. I already told them. I haven't, uh, I haven't told them to do anything like this. They were supposed mm. to revere me and only me. So I don't know what you are talking about. Was the Lord of Skulls a faithful follower? I think he was at some point. I wasn't paying much attention. There was a lot of prayers at the time. So he was not a chosen child of yours. His position of prominence was not because of any significant blessing you bestowed upon him. Oh, no, 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 no. The only one that I really like out of all that bunch is sweet Ariakas. He is young and very naive, just like you are. He was very good to me. So perhaps the Lord of Skulls opened the rift or was one of the people who did and used that power to, to ascend and subvert the knights. It may be, says another voice, it may very well be. But all of them are doing this. All of the ones that are using this power. And each of them that do that does brings more of this future into the present. And the rifts are getting larger and more uncontrollable. And be do not be mistaken, everything the void touches changes and disappears forever. If Wait, you cannot. So, what about Lunitari? If we, in some way, defeat the Void, they can come back? It could be done. Everything can be done with magic. We could try something. But why restore it now where she's so weak? She will be helpless. Fair. It will be a nuisance to us. Forgive me. Did I did I hear a nuisance? Yep. Who said this? No, Itari. You you assume. Yeah. All right. Uh, as much as it pains me, I think I have to agree with my cousin. We need to solve this problem with the those of us who are left. Are you talking to me about solving this when balance is destroyed? Says a voice. Now that the old father has returned, there's more of you than anybody else. You will rule this. We do not approve. He must kept be gone. We don't want him back. What? what are you? Of course you don't. Go ahead. What are who, who was? I, I think who, who was, but... Uh, yeah. But I, I, I didn't get me, me Jose player. I don't even get yeah. who was he referring to. I, th you think in this case is like, yeah, they are referring to uh, Sargonas was referring to to Paladine, Paladine being mm -hmm. restored. Sorry for interrupting. No, no, it's okay. Uh, and then I'll, an, another voice answer says. Of course you want that. We will not let you. We will fight you at every corner. And we will we will protect mortals from now on until the end of time. Which may come very soon if we keep on arguing like this. We've been going on too far. We need to make a decision. What shall be done with Takisis? I have an idea, says another voice. 
Let's ask the mortals. Let these ones here decide. We have one who bears the mark of Sargonas. One who brought us the remnants of Lunitari. And one who has, who had, at one point, the essence of a god, of a god of light inside of him. They are three and they have brought three gifts. They are the first mortals to arrive here by saviness and not like thieves. We should <coughs> honor them. That is preposterous. We cannot let these things be decided by mortals. I mean, do you give me your mark? I give oh, you nothing, you stupid and there's like a, a, a voice that's about to and then Please, please, let's be calm. We need to make a decision here. Time is running out on us. Literally. I believe the actions of Paladine set an interesting precedent. He granted us the power to reach this place. Without it, we would not have succeeded, and there would be no hope of some of us going back and stopping the, those who use the void. And I turned towards the, the queen. You could give up your power and have faith in your followers that they would bring it back to you. Use it for the purpose of saving the world and it would then be returned to you and you could continue your usual <sighs> desires. Honey, you're sweet, but don't let it go to your head. Why would I comply with such nonsense? Because if you do not, the world will be destroyed and you will not be able to rule it. I am willing, says a voice, to surrender my power. I've already done once and Jonah was a good keeper of it. I am willing to surrender mine too, if it is necessary. After all, all of these pages do not matter if the world ends. I assume that th those were Paladine and Gillian? Gillian's mm -hmm. words. Very good, yeah. And this is for Wait. the sake of maintaining balance. So if Takis yeah. has surrendered the, her powers. Exactly. So if, if one too. of the gods surrenders its powers, it can be restored by the hmm? subject who ob obtained it? Like if Johan gained Paladine, yeah. he can give it back? Mm -hmm. Yes, it has been done so. Your friend did, and we trust you to do the right thing. I don't. <laughs> we, we don't. Yeah, of course we, we do not. So I turn to Takisis and I say, I will take, I will make you a promise. I will give you back your power. <laughs> I give you my word. Mm. Let's make this more interesting, shall we? I will keep you to your word. So much so that if you break it, I will take all of your families and your soul and put them in the abyss. What do you say of that? I say that we have a deal. I will give you back your power. Because of 
the day exists, the soul is also have to be a night. And for a summer to be, there also has to be winter. So you also have to be. This is, this is nonsense, come on, you cannot be agreeing with this. We agree. Yes, yes, yes. Many voices like that. We agree. It's like it's like a, a a resounding like many voices like echoing. Another one says, "We agree as well." We agree. We agree. <laughs> I think we'll agree to this because I will be the one in charge, my beloved. If you are no longer with us. I mean, again, if the world is destroyed, what's the matter have all, all the power, all the influence, <laughs> if you don't have anyone to rule over? Someone else will need to go. One of the light. Because we have lost Lunitari and we have lost Hidukel. For balance to be maintained, one of the small ones will have to go to. I will, I will go, says the voice. I, justice is needed, but I'm willing to sacrifice. No, brother, you know that you will not. You are needed now more than any, at any other time. I will be the one to go. I will be the sacrificial lamb. That's, who is that? Habakkuk. Oh, I was that going to request Habakkuk, but I... <laughs> okay, so I take... Then we are in agreement. We will give you this power. So you have it, you four. And then you can return to reality, to the mortal realm, and convince these dreaded knights to stop using this magic, and find whoever else is doing so. Here is the scene. I must warn. Here is yeah. the scene, and this is this is what it's worrying worrying me. When we, when we were on the red moon, I believe. This is what I'm a little confused. Yeah. When we were in the Red Moon, we saw that only had we only had five hours left. Yeah. That's a very little time to do anything like a fight, a combat, to remove some heads. I like that spirit. Yes, we don't have much time. You will have to deal with some of the manifestations because we will grow much weaker in doing this. So some of the void creatures will appear. Avoid them as much as you can for their touch is madness. Mortals cannot see the end of things and survive unscathed. Many lives will be lost, it is true. But we will restore them when the time comes. Many sacrifices will have to be made. This is the most stupid plan I've ever heard. If I've ever heard of a plan, we are so lost. At least we have a plan. We, we have, have any alternative. I think we can agree that at least you know that this clears my name, doesn't it? Are, are we in, agree in agreement with that? Can you please remove these shackles? Having enough of this nonsense already?
The mortals haven't spoken, a voice says. They are the ones who are supposed to judge you. So we ask them, shall we remove these shackles and restore the queen so she can surrender her power? I'm looking at Sargas. His reaction. It's like hesitate, hesitant. Yeah, that is the word. Hesitant indeed. So, this is Alejandro. Yeah. If they, if she surrendered her power, yeah. Who else is going to surrender their powers? Okay. So, I'm gonna be like straight with you. The casualties of the war yeah. so far have been Lonitari and Hiruka. So, one from the Pantheon of Neutrality, one from the Pantheon of Darkness. So. Now that basically Jonah restored Paladine, we have the Seven of Light against the Six of Neutrality against the Six of Darkness. So, uh, Habakkuk was offering... Habakkuk himself. will sacrifice himself for this, for the cause. And that would be 666. What these three, the large, the great ones of the Pantheons are, are, are doing so is that they are going to sacrifice themselves to bestow the, their power on you. Which mechanically is going to mean that you can go forward and you're not going to lose all of your magical abilities. Because that mm -hmm. wouldn't because if you went forward now without this blessing, you would be your martial abilities and that's it. Because there are no gods to prey on, because they are like once again holding on to reality as best mm -hmm. as they can. Okay? I can so... be a fighter. I don't care. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't care, but dear old Jonah cares, you know? And Everybody like else. Kevin does as well, and Musa, Musa could, could go as well, mm -hmm. like, without much hassle, uh, probably. But once again, you need that strength because you're supposed now to yeah. convince the Knights of Takeshis. That would be the new main quest. Mm -hmm. Convince the Knights of Takeshis to not use magic anymore. Mm -hmm. And basically hunt down or find anyone else who's using this kind of, uh, we're going to call them void magic and stop mm -hmm. them. And along the way, you will have to fight void creatures, which you don't know what those are or what they do, but you've been told that they're going to be extremely like, uh, like they are like the end of time and all of that, all of those things. So yeah, mm -hmm. that's basically the, like the, uh, the whole thing. Yeah. I think, this is me speaking, sort of. Yeah, Daniel. I speaking. think we need to have Takisis' power uh -huh. to convince Ariaka. Like, yeah, we, I don't think we can trust her. I mean, me personally, yes, because I I do think she would try and save the world. But the characters would not trust her to do it. So we need we need to basically show up and go like, hey, this is this is her ability that she granted us. Yeah, this is and she did proof. this. Extreme this is proof. Thing yeah, to this get is you. Hey, yeah. stop. Like, yeah, we have this legal power of attorney to tell you <laughs> stop it. Yeah, quit it. <laughs> Cut that yeah. out. Something along those lines. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that's 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 the the long and the short of it. Without the mm -hmm. without all of the fluffy fiction in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that is a very good question. What way? What? Uh, how can we present ourselves uh, before the the knights, saying that, hey, we are, we came uh, in the name of the kisses and the rest. Uh, yeah. Stop. By force. I, yeah, I think that's why we need the power. We need to be able to say, we wield the power of the kisses. You, you are going. You are to being misled. And go as you, a you means of honor to go like. Yeah. And we have seen that the rank and file, not even rank and file, like high level knights are honorable. Like mm -hmm. we did one-on-one -on -one duels and they followed those commands. Yeah. They fought, they fought you honorably in session one. Yeah. So, so if, if we bear Takisis' power, like I think we'll be able to get. They're going to kick their asses. Yes. <laughs> and also. We're going to tell them. And then we're going to tell them what to do. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You still don't have the, the the name of that dragon, right? Yeah. I believe that he was. What was the word? 
not amicable, but there was a mutual respect. Yeah. That yeah. was maybe he could. That that was a dragon. I was kinda one v one v. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, because you were inside the. Mm -hmm. I'm in the south. So, anything else you'd like to do or say as you are in the presence of the gods before moving on, I agree, I imagine, too. I mean, if, if there's a deal and Monson struck the deal, she's going to turn to nothing to Mishaka and say, my lady, I'm sorry, but I have to do this. You have done the best you can, child. And believe me that I would go with you if I could. But you have my blessing. And your friends as well. You are all brave. You haven't even asked for your own lives to be preserved or somehow saved. You are here. Completely selflessly helping us. And offering yourselves as the cause or conduits. All of you deserve praise. And the three of you who hadn't received it yet, now you get a, a, a long rest. Ooh. Mini dubs. Hey. Anyone else? Yeah, we all do. We. Yeah, you all do. Yeah. Long rest. That's what Yeah. Mean. So. I... I'm, I'm going to say to, to Jonah. I'm a bit conflicted right here, but I think what you suggest is right. I don't, I don't trust the kisses, really. Neither that she's going to surrender her powers without any ulterior intentions, or that she's going to just well, like I said, pack it up with the Knights of Takisis and then leave the conquest. But your ideas bring uh, uh, bring us here. So maybe this idea can take us all the way. I trust Moonsong. The power in her hands will be able to convince Saryaka. And we will need his forces, the knights, to stop, to close the rift. They're the only force left in the world. This is Alejandro. Mm -hmm. Munson said that she's going to take the power of the kisses because she said, I'm going to return it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And if not, she's going to kill all, all, all your loved ones. Yeah. Condemn them, them to hell, level. which is like much mm -hmm. worse when you think about it. I will take that too. What? What? Huh? You... Make me part of that too. I want some part of that power. No, well, now everybody wants me. And in that moment, like, the shackles go away and pff, she disappears from her mortal form. And now you feel the 18 presences uh, around you. Well, well, 18 and the one that is faint, which is growing stronger by the minute. Is there anything else? I don't think so. Uh, Jonah's going to reach under his armor and remove his necklace, the holy relic, and turn towards the strengthening presence and go, Father, my faith in you was amply rewarded. 
I have faith in those who have fought with me as well. Uh, and Jonah's going to offer up the essence of Paladine that he has always had. The the holy relic. And to give it back to, to Paladine. You are graceful, my son. And I indeed receive this with my heart. But take it. You will need it. If you go forth from here. But I see that maybe your heart harbors doubts. Would you like to stay and fight with us here? You will need the help. It is written. I, I turn towards Habakkuk and go, I cannot do what you do, but I will do what I can. Wait, what are you talking about? If Habakkuk leaves, the world will have even less time. His strength will not be holding it together. Okay. Takisis' power was not participating in this conflict. It, she had been shackled and was unable to aid. She was not trusted enough to help protect the world. So her power going to the mortal realm with you, with us. It will not have made a difference in how much time we had left. But Habakkuk will. And so... Are you giving back Paladin to take Habakkuk? No. You will carry Habakkuk with you. And I will remain in his stead. What is going to happen with you? Well, you're going to save the world, and then return Habakkuk, and I will go back. I hope. I may have to stop and help God's home and those who were lost along the way. But for the time being, I will stay here and fight the void with what power has been granted to me. No. No, 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 no. You come with us. I will be with you. But I will also be here. Faith is... is it's a reciprocal relationship. If you call to me, if you truly need me, if my presence with you would have a greater effect, would turn the future in our favor more than my fight here, I will be with you. But for as long as I can, I will help the gods. This is so stupid. But if it's your wish, who am I to say no? Thank you, my friend. Not up to me to say what you can do. I really think that you are wrong. You should be with us. I agree. But do what you must. Thank you. We are going to win this. We are going to go back and retrieve you. And I'm going to grab you by the air and give it. Ah! I have faith in you as well. I, I won't be happy about the ear pulling, but you know. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to give all of you death wards. Oh, so shit. All 
one all of my fourth left. level wow. spell slots. No. Hey, if we are moving by the hour, eight hours yeah. of mm -hmm. that world is going to matter. Yep. Yeah. A lot. It definitely <laughs> is going to will. Yeah, it will matter. For sure. Yep. Unless anyone, any one of you wants to say anything else, it is time for you to leave. To depart this place. This is Jose. Mm -hmm. I, I've been a little uh, conflicted and confused. Mostly because <laughs> I think that Keras don't like Sargas a lot. Nope. But I understand that we need him, and he has been kind of hostile. It's normal. <laughs> Your lead is right there, though. Mm -hmm. And yeah. he he wanted to go. Like he, Kiri Jolith was like, "Hi, I'm the paladin me, guy." Yeah, let me go. Let me go. <laughs> yeah, I'm a good fighter. Mm -hmm. I meet Gus. A very honorable one. Someone like him was a hero of the world. I don't know. I think that we can do anything. Yes, you can. And if you are honorable as Cass was, your whole people will be redeemed in my eyes. And I will be proud of the choices that I've made, always supporting you in the shadow of that monster. Talks of a weakling. That's what it sounds to me. In all my life, I understood the, that strange. It's not just muscle. It's this. I don't have very much. They have. It's honor. It's be there. Fight with another. Use the tools that you have. It is time. Say your goodbyes before you leave. Why? He just said that he's going with us and he's not leaving us. I'm ready and I'm gonna turn to. I don't know. There is a boy, but I want to look cool. So yeah. I'm going to turn. There is like a there's like I'm a going. stairs. <laughs> if you can see like in front of you, like on top of you in the in the balance version, like there is like a the neutrality version. There's like a stairs at the, at the north, the north yeah, side yeah, of yeah. the map. Like, I'm, I'm, you I'm can... going there. Yeah, well, moving towards that way. Awesome. I am going to say to Jonah, I'm seeing you, my friend. I'm going to approach Jonan. Mm -hmm. I'm going to extend my hand to a uh, handshake. Uh, I'll shake your hand. Can I do an <laughs> an slide of hand or something like that very fast to just sure. grab his hair and? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have hair. Yeah, no, the real both. Ear. Totally ear. both. Okay, sure. The you ear. can pull my ears. Ears. Yeah, exactly. Oh. This is a reminder. Next time will be harder. Uh, I would like to, holding the beads that I have not put on, touch one of the beads that gives blessing, and can I infuse it with plane shift? And go oh, like, sure. Yeah. And go like, when you need me, call me. That's super cool. Call me, yeah. Calling card. Yeah. No, don't uh, about that. Yeah. Someone write that down somewhere, please. <laughs> you, have, you have a bead with, with plane shift. Who is giving uh, you this? To me? Yeah. But any yeah. one of you can use it. It's. Yeah. Well, 
later I, I add it to my character sheet. So, I leave. How about you, Munson? I approach and give you a handshake and I say, see you in a few hours. Karyakan is an honorable man. Also, apparently extremely attractive. Don't get distracted with it. He's got a <laughs> bunch of goddesses wrapped around his finger. You you have I seen you it. have seen Ariagas before, remember in the vision? Yeah. You saw Ariagas, it's like It's like Yoma Yanello. Very much Yoma Yanello Yoma Yanello would be yes. the perfect actor for Ariagas. The perfect yes. actor for Ariagas. Please Joe, if you're listening to this at some point in your life, you will be perfect for Ariagas. I think he knows. Be perfect. Yeah. Mm. You will be perfect. Maybe. Perfect for it, I guess. Oh, <laughs> oh, you yeah. give me this information, Jonah. Now. Now, yeah. Don't worry. Is, is, isn't she like a, a, a widow? Munson? What? I'm no. a widow. I'm a widow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. I, have, I have a widow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't worry. <laughs> well, well, Don't worry. well, you know, you know how it is. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Okay. So. I would say I don't worry. I'm not a young lady, so I, I don't get like flustered with attractive young men. He's not young either. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. A little I don't older. Know. <laughs> I guess it's a yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like that. Yeah. How come? So, <laughs> as the three of you are leaving, Moonsong, Keras, and Haldreth. You are like going away when another earth shake starts. Another tremor. And the voice seems to be drawing some things. And then a voice says, Oh no, they are here. Well, oh no. And all of a sudden, you see like all of the light of this place concentrates in the platform you are. And everything around it this is like eaten away. And the thing or whatever ate everything else away transforms into a giant serpentine figure all around you. Roar! So that lets out a roar and we're gonna have to roll the initiative. Oh no. Yep. Oh no, no, no. Okay. Uh, and you can see it now, I think, in the map. Um, I'm so I'm back. really glad I cast that death ward. And yep. I have to recast Thank it you. before it's gone. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's go initiative. Oh. So, um... The track? Where is this? Oh no, why is he doing this? That is the use of in a advantage on your initiative if I know if they're so low I know yeah. I know <laughs> oh no I roll a two with yeah. advantage <laughs> that's what it is so let's see uh, that's not a 19 it's an okay yeah this creature is kind of slow uh sorry Who's there? okay so, uh, let's go. We're going to start with you. Oh, this was a bad initiative. Oh, Moonsong, what was your initiative? 22. 22, Yay. sorry, yeah. I didn't do the try. The one person yeah. that doesn't have advantage doesn't need it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Actually, yeah. yeah. The I always was the come last one in the initiative. So, yeah. You yeah. don't need advantage if you're good at rolling dice. Exactly. <laughs> that's, that's exactly how this thing works. Ah, uh, so that's how 22. Yeah, I was not have my chart. Of yeah. Power. So, okay, Moonsong, you go first. What would you like to do? So there's a dragon, Shh. and that's it. That's it. The dragon is everything around you. It's <laughs> like all of this, all of that is a dragon. Yeah. All of this. So it's not yep. only the. No, no, the no, token no. is what I put like as a. I need gotcha. that token for the. Initiative. For the thing, yeah, for the initiative, gotcha, but it's gotcha, not, gotcha. no, the dragon is everything around you. It's like, it's a gigantic thing. I'm gonna activate the 
Sorry, didn't activate the greed on this map. Now it's now it's there. A, a bit of meta pigeon stuff. <laughs> yep. If possible, stay within 30 feet of me because I'm gonna go super holy aura. Mm -hmm. Everybody, I'm be ready. cool. Yeah. Good to know. So I scream. I we I we fighting this or do we go? I don't think we can go until it's gone. We have to push it back. So I am. Is the door closed? So... I don't think we even know if there is a door. It's just okay. No, you. Yes, we need. We need to. We need to keep it back at bay at least a little bit. Objective: what? survive. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna let it, let it on to you. You need to bloody the dragon. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. So, is it? I mean, Can we kill it? So kill the dragon for an achievement. <laughs> 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 always, you know, they're like always like extra achievements and this thing and everything else. But yeah. So is it? How far is is it from us? Yeah. Uh, Where can we hit it? Like, can we hit it there? You can hit it everywhere. Yeah. But right. is it 30 feet or do I have to move? Um, you you can use the the ruler. So. Yeah. yeah. Like, I don't know because it's it, 35 the, the shadow here. goes behind. I don't yeah. Know. I think it's like 35 feet. Like it's like the shortest one or 40. 40 so wait, I move This one 10 looks feet. like the same mm -hmm. altitude. Yeah. Okay. So I move 10 feet and I. Uh, uh, And I use my um, a special in, um, when I cast. Um, no, I, I use the, the the special ability of the bow, so I unleash my destruction energy. So <laughs> <laughs> Love it. With that bow. It has to make an. Yeah. <laughs> it's a cone. And okay. It has uh, well, I don't know if it's going to work. It has to be a saving throw of 16. Uh, I want to roll, yeah. Yeah. If you can see it and touch it, quote unquote, you can attack it. Uh, so let me see. It's a. Uh, you say which save? It's 16. 16, which? Uh, Dex. Dex. Dex 16, okay. Uh, no, not one. No. Yeah. It so it takes it's really big. Imagine if there was an ant on you that yeah. like threw up. How easily could you avoid it? Wait, exactly. I'm getting my dice. <laughs> I'm loving I'm loving the comparison. It's perfect, yeah. Like, ow! That stings. So you see uh, <laughs> uh, um, um, uh, from a bow like this cone of magic that comes out of it and is um, force damage. Okay. So it's like equal to... <laughs> 29 points of force damage. Okay. And... Um, and for my... Second action, I'm going to throw a, an attack that is a night quick. Um, 27 to hit. Uh, it hits? So it's. Um, However, let me check something. 27, you said, yeah? Uh, 11 plus uh, 27, 27, yes. 27, let me check. 29. No, it's okay. Yeah, hits. 13 points of damage. 13? 1 and 13. 3? Yeah. 1 and okay. 3. Sure. And do I have anything else to do? I wasn't yeah. prepared. Um, as a bonus action. <laughs> Uh, that's the I. That's it. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. End of your turn. The dragon is gonna use a legendary action, 
and it's gonna hit you with its tail because it's literally yeah. what just you know what what daniel said you know oh shit you know stinks die and um so this is going to be uh okay tail attack what are you tail attack here you are uh so this is yes shit uh 27 to hit it's and this is all the damage uh no sorry i picked the wrong dice you got a really awesome thing at 15th level yeah. a reaction yeah it's a reaction yeah. mm -hmm. okay I give myself resistance. <laughs> <laughs> resistance to damage? All of resistance all... to all of attacks damage on this turn. Awesome. Okay. So you stand tall and now you receive uh okay, so this is 10 10 22 30 30 points of uh force damage i'm gonna use force damage but in reality it's like has no type whatsoever i want to use force because you entropy. know to interact with, yeah to interact with the mechanic yeah, entropy damage um so that's reduced to 15. and now i'm gonna ask you to make um this is a wisdom saving throw dc 23. i am i am away yeah. from did I have? How far did I have to be from you to get? It hasn't. I haven't had my turn, so it's not oh, up. But no. uh, <laughs> uh, I, you could be close enough to Haldra. Yeah. Yeah. But mm. Haldra has to. Yeah. No, it's not. Okay. It's it's you have to be away. within ten feet of Haldra. Yeah. Wait, to get the plus tower. five bonus. Wisdom saving throw. I'm going to roll in D and D beyond. Okay. Ooh. Good, good to know. You and the beyond. I do it Hey, that's twenty. Oh. That's just enough. Oh, you needed a twenty-three. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So everybody, stick within ten feet of Haldra. Haldra, yeah. where are you going to go to be able to swing your sword at it? I, I was yeah. going to the head. No, don't go to the head. No, don't, don't go, go to the head. head. Go, go to like the the torso or the or tail. Yeah. What is the fun of that? I want to find them. Punch Listen, the punch dragon, not only one. We, we have two strategies. Everybody spread out as far as you can. Yeah. Or everybody or... try to stay around yeah. the paladin. So you can be the closest to the thing, but we have to be ten feet from. Yeah, here. literally. Okay, so you are in the last moment. Um this thing hits you with the tail you're able to resist most of the damage but as soon as it touches you use all of you the rest of you see moonsong's eyes going basically dark as like the empty void of space and for a moment you are about to witness something to gaze into the abyss and then you close your eyes in time and you don't uh this was very good awesome that was uh moonsong's turn I mean, it's now, the only, yeah. only way I was going to pass this Yeah, check. with a nat 20. Yeah. yeah. So everybody stick close to the paladin. <laughs> and by that doing that, you will also be in the cleric's aura of... Exactly. Be cool, everybody. Be cool, everybody. Okay. Also, sure. if you guys pressed your long rest, it may have reset your aid uh, points. You should all have 10 yeah. more max HP. Ooh. Right. Ah. Do aid. Uh, okay. Yeah, due to and aid. Okay, ten. So ten more. Thank yes. you. Okay. So, um, Haldreth, you're next. Are we sure that we don't want to be close all together <laughs> in the head of the thing? Can we? <laughs> I don't know. You can fly, but the rest of us normally fly, yeah. need. I, I yeah. can't fly, fly Jet. God damn so it. if you if you uh, stick yeah. to, listen, you can be ten, ten feet away from the platform. If you want to be flying and swimming yeah. at the dragon, but yeah. we have to be be able to stick close to you. Know that you are not fun. I'm going to move myself. I have 60 feet. Uh, this is the turn. I'm not going to be close at. Uh, yeah. Because we're, we're to... going to have to move to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. oh, 
Uh, I'm going to try with the uh, greatsword. Sure. It. So greatsword attack. Uh, Are you gonna use bonus action? Yes. I have something. Cool. Bow of MD. Yeah. Uh -huh. Hey you. And and this uh, before I did my bow of MD doing the so, uh, Solamnic salute. Uh, the salute of the Knights of Solamnia. Yeah. And yeah. now I just I'm just going to point and uh, pulling my helmet down, my mask of the peregrine. I don't know how, how it's called. The yeah. my item. I'm going to fly and take uh, two swings at this sure. thing. With advantage. Are you using Wayweb uh, Master or not? I'm using Great Web Master. So okay. I have a minus, I mean, minus five. You you can use it on the first one and then say if you want to use it on the second one after you see what happens no because i'm not going to miss of, of course i'm going to let's see I mean, what you happens. Do, i think you have advantage because of your, your... I, I i roll pretty poorly too so that's, that's a an 18. 15. no that's yeah. a 15. no oh that's a 15. Thir no 30. 30. 13 because oh, it's minus yeah. five with great weapon yeah. master. oh this is beautiful and so... now another attack go ahead great advantage that's yeah. another 20. Hey! It's still a critical, even with the minus. Yeah, so it's 25, but critical. I'm going to do all the fun stuff that... Okay, Paladin. yeah, Paladin Paladin. and I'm going to do critical. fun stuff too. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh. Don't, you don't have to sound so menacingly. That's a reaction. <laughs> you attack. The first attack is like you're striking air. And the second attack, phwah, you let out your strike and all of a sudden whatever you part of the dragon you're attacking is not there anymore it's like a window and the window is just right beside uh jonah and i think jonah's ac is more than 25. it's less than 25 i should say uh it is not it, it, it's a critical so it's going to happen so now you crit but against jonah what oh yep i don't like this uh, uh, of course I'm you waiting. don't i'm so sorry I, I I was about to. Do, do I see Jonah as I'm? Yeah yeah yeah. You, as I said, like the dragon, like the emptiness, all of a sudden it's filled, as you're like it's it becomes almost like a like a portal, and your head like you cannot stop the head, but the head comes through, and you see like you are going like basically defying the rules of reality. Your head enters like this side of the map, where like you are currently. And it comes out like this side of the map. All right, so uh, I'm not going to use the smite. And that's a good thing. Elena, you, 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 you ruined my fun about I'm so sorry. High, high level smite. I'm so sorry. My aura is going to mess with that also. And that's a plus 10. So 31 to you, Jonah. I already I did the yeah. great well master attack. Yeah. <clears throat> That's so right. yeah, that's my turn. I'm so I'm sorry. Still solidly yeah. in the triple digits. Uh, okay. Um, you have my mount, by the way. Remember that I used. Uh, yeah. Greater, uh, fine greater steel. Jonah, it's your turn. Okay. Uh, hold on. I, I think we had the token for the dragonet. But anyway, that, we could bring that in later. Uh, Jonah will go after having seen what happened to Moonsong and what the gods warned us about. I'll yell that close to Haldrath, we need his protection. Uh, and I'm going to move. What? Why am I counting in half feet? Right. I guess I'll move there. Uh, and uh, I will lift up my hand holding the prayer beads of Paladine. Yeah. And I will say, we are the hope of the world. Uh, and I will cast Holy Aura. And oh. now a light shines out from the beads uh, 30 feet around me. And awesome. it settles on all of you. And now you are all glowing with holy light as well. Nice. 
You have yes. advantage on all saving throws. Creatures who attack you, including each other, like if we attack each other, have disadvantage on those attack rolls. So That's super good, yeah. Advantage on all saving throws, and anyone who attacks you has disadvantage on attacks against. That is very good indeed, yeah. And Jonah is concentrated. Cool. So, yes. So Haldrath is within the the orb. And now I don't think we have anything I can do with my bonus action. No. Is that the end of your turn? Yes. Okay, end of your turn. The creature is going to spend its last two legendary actions. And from its mouth... A uh, 90 food cone opens up its mouth and literally like this uncolor, which is the emptiness of the void comes out of it. All of you need to make, um, uh, which one is it? This is a dexterity saving throw. Uh, but you have advantage. Advantage. We have advantage. And what else? Uh, well, nobody's that close to Haldrath. So DC we don't have 24, control. by the way. Oh, don't make give me the DC. I cannot hit a 24. I'm so sorry. I will, I will make that. Yeah. Oh, I'm wrong so bad. So sorry. None of us got it. No. Holy shit. It brought a four and a five. Evasion. Okay. Yeah, so you get... No, so... I'm candy touch. Wait. I'm candy touch. Uh, no. Can we, can can we, we use to... our final moment to say to the next party what we learned? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't, I'm not sure that that's how it works. I think yeah, this so. branch of the Dragonlance setting is just gone. <laughs> that, that is cool too. That, that's why it's not canon. Like, yeah. if you raise the Dragonlance books and our characters are not in them, it's because we lost. <laughs> yeah. Do we get an achievement for getting the bad ending, though? Oh, come yeah. on. <laughs> 14, 21. Alejandro is that chocolate. It was the friends you made along yeah. the way. 31. Don't uh, insult 50. me. What is that? This is not a chocolate. 55. This is a <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Chocofruna. So. <laughs> Whoever fails receives 110 points of damage. What? Holy shit. <laughs> it's a, it's... Evasion, 55th. Evasion uh, divides that by, by half. So yeah, 55. 55. Yeah. Holy 110. Shit. And whoever fails, now you feel as basically this thing passes through you. And now it's like, you feel like you're being like, touched by this and you're losing your connection with reality and with time so i'm going to ask all of you that failed you need to oh no all of you that failed you are restrained and whoever passed you are uh what is this what is this thing called um yeah your speed is halved oh come on uh, so it doesn't matter because none of us succeeded yeah. And uh, uh, so everybody's restrained as you feel like basically the, the, the touch of it's it's kind of like uh, gravity times 100, basically. Uh, and all of you failed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Will you give me a wisdom saving throw? No! Everyone? 23. Too. Yeah, everyone. Have, everyone that failed. Wait. We have I, to see what, what, what is happening with the Poliara. Wait. You have no. to. It, it's I, gone. I, I, I mean. Yeah. If it's it gone? happens, if I have, it depends on when my concentration check happens. Like if yeah. this is part of the same, I mean, no, it depends and, on how. And you can you can't make the same. No, it's like nobody can. 50? It's a DC fifty-five. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, and do we have? Do I have some Haldra is away? So no yeah, too passes, far away. So oh. I'm not going to make it. I didn't. I'm going to roll. Oh, so sorry. Okay. Even with the natural training, I have a plus 19. one. Okay. Yeah. Some of you were close. I'm so sorry. It's all right. It's all right. It's all now, right. This is, this is everybody it. who failed, roll so, a d100. Wait, no this way. is uh, again a 23 this? Uh, yeah, 23 okay. DC. 
Yeah. Now roll a d100. And you want to roll as high as possible. Don't tell me that. The, the yes. Eat it. Yes. Roll no. as high as possible, please. Don't make me do this to you. No. 92. Do what you must. 92. 92. Okay. 66. 96. Okay. Okay, I have. Let me do see. You 97 was, was uh, Jonah, yeah? Yeah, 92 was Moonsong. Was, yeah, 90, so Moonsong and Jonah, you gaze into the abyss. And now you see the end of all things. And how everything is hopeless and you're frozen by fear. You're paralyzed, both so of you. So we're restrained and with fear. And paralyzed. And paralyzed. And paralyzed. Oh. Keras rule of 76. Yes. You look into the abyss and you realize that all is for nothing. So choose between screaming, laughing, or weeping. And you are incapacitated. As you fall to the ground, basically feeling this overcome, you're having a, an attack of hysteria. This emotion is overwhelming you. It's screaming. Okay, cool. Frustration. And the 43, oh, do what you must. Haldrath, you look into the abyss and you see that the only thing you can do <laughs> is fight this. Fight this and die fighting. You have to attack every turn the nearest creature to you. That was oh. my plan. So awesome. I don't feel really affected. Oh, no. Now it is the creature's turn. Because that was a legendary action, and I'm going to see whether the breath weapons recharges uh, or not. By the way, Elena, yeah. that means that every turn I have to make an attack at least to yeah. the creature. Yeah. Or spend all my action. At it says attack. you must use your action each round to attack the nearest creature. All right. Don't get yeah. close to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm we going can't. to fuck you up. We are restrained. Yeah. We kind of right. don't get close to oh, you. I'm sorry. <laughs> if I, I just rolled my... a five. Myself, which class. means yeah, the yeah. breath recharges. Yes. Yeah. Wait, Takeshi didn't give us anything. And Not the creature again. is about to open its mouth and release this again. When the ground around you all of a sudden goes dark and all of this light that was surrounding you and everything turns into a majestic phoenix in front of you. And it says, go and please save us all. And the phoenix rides straight into this, and the phoenix and the creature c clash and collapse, basically. And this is how Syrian, uh, the f the uh, the god of transformation, dies to oh. save your lives, as you are transported back into Crane. And that is the end of the session, everybody. No, we lost another god. Yep. That we we, we didn't we plan to. Yep. Correct. That's a neutral no. god. That's yep. a neutral god, yeah. yeah Another neutral. one down. But Another one bites the dust. My neutral boys. Leave them alone. <laughs> Leave them alone. <laughs> Wait. But I have a mechanic question. Yeah. Do we feel some power of the kisses? So no, no, we, ah, we, we actually, this. now, I'm going to say, I want to tell you, 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 you threw like a joke in our chat about <sighs> this. What I'm going to let you know, like for real, is this is the type of thing that that if you come back next session when we play again, if we play again and you tell me I'm going to completely rewrite my character mm -hmm. and I'm going to have like a, <laughs> like a witch or a, or, a, or a dark wizard or some shit, I will be fuck. Yeah, you know, you just did like, yeah, you have the power of a dark, the dark goddess within you, the darkest goddess of them all. Yeah, you yep. can go. You can do whatever you want. And all of you, you have that power. You have the power. Well, uh, Haldrath does as well. And you, um, uh, Jonah, you have the power of Palan yes. again with you. Uh, so basically, no, 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 that no, remains. Let let, let, uh, let Moonsong have it. I I, I, I was about to have Wait, a, if... a scene with that, but okay, if I didn't have the scene. I don't want the power. Yeah. I have okay. a cook goes with whom, or didn't go with anyone. No. In this case, Habakkuk would go, would go probably with Alejandro, with uh, Haldrath, and probably then you would take. Uh, you, need, well, you need to decide who takes who. 
because you have like how you have you have in reality you have the three the three the three great ones yeah paladine gillian and takesis yeah habakkuk will sacrifice himself just you know to remain maintain the balance between the god the gods we, we but talk. that was that's already out of the window you we know? can talk about this later there yeah well and i wasn't able to do anything it wasn't i'm my so sorry turn. you were about to Listen, die that's yeah, why i, I, did this. I pulled yeah. out my biggest gun i pulled out my eighth level spell and it was instantly gone like, it i didn't was have about to kill wow. someone this, is, uh, this uh, is the first time that i go this low in yeah. the hp and i know all the time we have been and once again if it wasn't for aid i would have died yeah i was single digits yeah i oh. was 117 to 7. this <laughs> this creature the breath weapon is 20 d 10. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't have enough dice. I had to roll twice with my d10s to do the thing. So, okay. Uh, well, that's it, everybody. You are now... This is the end of the first arc that we set of the campaign. Now we go back to the mortal realm mm -hmm. and to do, once again, probably something as as difficult or even harder than what we just did, which is try to change the minds of these dark knights and at the same time fight these creatures. You just had a taste of one of these creatures can do. Uh, Swan is the not there. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, you're gonna see more of this. I have a lot more critters up up my sleeve about this shit. Oh. So, um, and we, we, we lost Jonah. Mm. Like, yeah. And well, we lost Jonah. Yeah, this that uh, is true. Like I said, I, I suspect the end of the campaign is a rematch against that thing. <laughs> and no, this is this is not the cre void creature. This is one of the one. void creatures mm -hmm. so yeah. <laughs> we need jonah now yeah <laughs> you need jonah in the future well as we I, said like the original plan was 20 sessions this is session 10 so basically it would take us another 10 sessions of this craziness and then we mm. will reach the end of the campaign proper but um also i'm, I'm happy with what we already did um uh, and yeah that's about it i don't know if you okay. have any last comments or anything wow well. no thank you for watching exactly yeah, thank you yeah if you reach this this the end thank you so much uh please leave us uh, a like a share a comment mm -hmm. share this with maybe a friend who would like or enjoy it because uh we are a channel that would like to grow and mm -hmm. we think we're doing cool stuff here and yeah. we have more cool stuff in the future as well this wasn't that as fluid as we wanted but yeah it's life <laughs> sadly life life sadly life, life real life gets in the way of uh, fantasy but um exactly. yeah but oh, okay. everything fine so thank you everyone and have a, great, so a, a great night bye bye everyone yeah. mm -hmm. bye bye